All right, welcome back. And so in this video, what we're going to do now is we're, you remember when I told you that in our URL that we're not going to have the index.php and we're not going to have all these different files to navigate to through the URL, um, that everything's going to go through the index.php file. So everything that comes into our application is going to get routed through this index.php file, regardless of what they put in the URL. Um, so what we need to do is actually, we need to tell the server to do that. And we can override the server in Apache with an HT access file. So, um, you know, if you don't understand this completely, that's not 100% necessary. You can have a look into this later uh, if you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and create a new file in the root of my folder, and I'm or the root of my project, and I'm going to call it HT a dot HT access. Okay, it's important that's a dot HT access. And once I have that open, we're just going to start with a rewrite engine and we're going to make sure that's on okay so rewrite engine on and then we're going to give it some conditions we're going to say rewrite uh, condition cond or that's short for a condition and then do percent and then curly braces and then inside of here we're going to do in all caps request file name okay and if it's a directory if it's not a directory Okay, so basically we're setting up a, con a rewrite condition if it, the request uh, the file name is not a directory. And we'll do the same thing again, but this time we're going to do dash F, which is not a file. Okay, and then what we're going to do is do another. Um, what this line will do is this is actually going to skip. Um, this is going to skip these conditions for uh, our rerouting these conditions for whatever we want to put uh, in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to say skip our config, we're going to skip core, we're going to skip our CSS directory, JS, fonts, and robots.txt um, if we decide to put one of those in there. Um, so the reason that we're doing this is um, if we reroute everything uh, to our index.php, that's not our browser is not going to be able to pull our CSS files and our JavaScript um, out of this CSS JavaScript folder. So we're basically telling it, hey, don't do what I'm about to tell you to do uh, on the rewrite rule if it's any of these. Don't do that. Okay. So so if if we're trying to get you know our our core files or anything else like that, just skip it. Don't do our rule. So let's finally write our rule. Rewrite rule. Okay. And so let's see what we got. Bear with me here. <clears throat> A little bit sick, but that's okay. Let's just hammer through this. All right, so it's not 100% necessary for you to understand this, but basically what's happening here is we're making sure our rewrite engine is turned on in Apache, and then we're giving it some conditions. We're looking for uh, uh, if what's put into the URL is not a file or directory, and then we're going to rewrite, add another condition to skip things so that, this, so that anything in these folders act normally, but everything else, we're going to send it. So anything, this is like kind of a regular expression here, anything we're going to send to the index.php and then these are going to be our params after that so um, i hope that helps that is our ht access file so now what would happen let's just go ahead and look at our browser really quickly and uh, let's see if this is working here and so if I just navigate to index.php, we have welcome to Rua MVC. But what if I just said index? Oh, it says the same thing. What if I said uh, users? Hmm, it's all the same thing. But what if I said CSS? Well, now it didn't work because of our condition. It opened up our CSS directory. We're going to take care of that later. That's not a big deal. But my point is, is that everything that's not in our... Um, we could go to our JS, but everything that's not in that 
uh, condition that we're skipping. Uh, we can put anything we want here. We can do our users uh, dot um, register dot five six eight, and we're still welcome to Ruot MVC. That file is right here our index. So everything now is actually going to our index.php file. So we know that our HT access file is working correctly, so yours should do the same thing. So go ahead and check that and make sure that is working. Um, so that's our HT access file. And uh, now we are rerouting all of our requests to the through the index.php file, which is important. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.